Hello and welcome to another Logic Gate tutorial. I thought I was done with this, and this is really more of a show and tell than a tutorial video. But what exactly do I have going on here? Well, if you've read the title, you'll know it's uh, a clock. I had so much fun and indeed frustration getting this to work, but I think I finally got it to work. The problem is, is you have an interval switch, which is over here, and it will only let you set as a minimum an on time of one second and an off time of one second. Which means when it sends electricity once, there's a second delay before it sends uh, electricity again. Two seconds in total. So I wanted to be able to catch that missing second, the red bit there. That's one second, that's two seconds, that's three seconds. But I would only count two because it's missing that one. If that makes any sense so the way i did that was i have uh, an and gate up here and if you watch my tutorial videos on how logic gates work it's just for pass through electricity it bears no uh, uh, effect on the actual logic itself the logic here is an or gate and an exclusive or and an or gate will work if any input has power well the only input it's got is the um, interval switch so every other second it gets power and sends directly to this middle switch here. I'll explain what the other two do in a minute. But I also send the power from it to an exclusive OR. And an exclusive OR will only work if one input has power. The way I forced that was pretty simple. I gave it power directly from the generator. So that means when this says send the power, it sends power to this, and this goes, oh no, I'm cutting it off. Effectively, when I send it to the left-hand side, it catches the mix missing second. And I can show you this if I turn my light off here. And you can see the left hand one will change when it, the red light is on. And the right hand one will change when the green light is on. Red, green, red, green. Now you might be thinking, well, those aren't seconds. They are. It, all you have to do is add the two together. So that's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, every time it reaches 9 and then rolls over to 0, that's 20. It counts in French. And it sends a blip over to here, like it just did then. Now, it, each one sends a blip. So I make this count to 30. It actually effectively counts to 60, um, which is a full minute. Um, so what that then does is send, very simply, to this first one. Um, so there's my minute counter right there. The reason I don't use this, is, as you can see, is it's, it's changing over every 20 seconds, so you don't want that. This one, when it changes over, when that reaches 5 over there, there, there we go, it's coming up now. And when those two become 9 and that 5 rolls over, it will send power to this. So in a moment, we'll see it say 51. There we go. So this is now 51 minutes. It's actually 51 minutes since I started this, since it became in incepted. Uh, the one here is just because I was testing the uh, hours. So these are the hours and these are the days. Now, minutes go up to 59. So every time that that reaches 5 and that reaches 9 to 0, it will spin round and send power to the hours. Hours go up to 12. Um, but it then doesn't send to days because days are 24. So what I've done is every time that that reaches 12, it goes uh, sends to this little throwaway um, counter here. And this counts twice. So the first 12 moves it from 0 to 1, and the next 12 spins it round and sends power. Effectively, it means every other 12 will trigger a day, the first day here, which means it's counting to 24. And every time that this reaches 9, it goes to the next day. So we have effectively 999 days of counting here. And that's it. That's it. I wanted a working clock in Fallout, and I got one. But it also gave me, I think, an opportunity to think about my Donkey Kong, if you remember that. Uh, I wanted it to bash the ground faster, because it was effectively bashing ground at one second, and then in the air at the other. Bash. And, and if I can split screen it, I'll put Donkey Kong on it. If not, uh, go and have a look at my Donkey Kong video from the past. What I will find, uh, what I am interested to see, is if this counts when I'm nowhere near it. Does uh, Fallout just freeze a settlement or sort of emulate a settlement's movement and stuff like that? Certainly settlements get attacked when you're not near them. If I, I'm in Nuka World right now, so if I go to um, the mainland, 
and spend 10 actual days in the mainland, will this say 10? Uh, if I go and shut the game down and don't play it for a day or two, will this say, you know, one or two? I'm fascinated to see that. Um, and I might post a follow-up video, but it will be interesting to, to see if uh, Fallout actually is, uh, you know, taking everything into account, even when you're nowhere near it. Because that's pretty impressive if it is. I could understand it moving settlers around because, you know, there's no consistency to that. They're farming or they're looking after the place or they're sleeping. Um, but yeah, a working clock in Fallout. I hope that's uh, been of interest to you. My name is Vinny Voodoo, and as always, thanks for watching. Uh, before I sign off on this vid, I just wanted to note one thing. I uh, just sh shut it down to edit the video together and reloaded it. And these are now flicking every second, which they were doing originally. And then they stopped doing it. Now I've changed nothing here in the logic, uh, but it's now working the way it was. I mean, it was working anyway, but the visuals are working. So it just goes to show a bug uh, <laughs> that's there. It's a visual bug, but the wiring and logic gates in this do have a lot of bugs in it. Uh, I closed the game down for at least an hour and it uh, was on 53, I think. So it definitely doesn't count when the game is off. Wouldn't really expect it to, because obviously time isn't passing. Um, you know, when you reload, you were where you were at. So I would expect it to be at 53. But I'm going to cut now, and uh, I'm going to go and do some messing around on the mainland for about 10 minutes, 5 minutes. And we'll see if that's at 55 when I fast travel back. So join me. For you, it'll be a split second. For me, it'll be about 5 minutes. I went to the mainland, shot a couple of raiders, and came back, and it did not move on kind of disappointed by that i mean obviously it's it's not even working well that's interesting let me try turning this on and off it's all broken <laughs> how did this happen i'll try turning it all right Well, look at that. It turns off logic when you fast travel. Interesting. Okay, well, this, the, the, the putting the days there was of no purpose then, because unless I'm going to hang around in Nuka World for days on end without ever shutting the game down. Yeah, all right. I do have a working clock, but it seems like I've kind of like been a bit of an overachiever here. <laughs> I don't know, I'll keep it going. But yeah, I wasn't expecting it not to be working at all. Um, interesting. Okay, well, there you go. Um, logic does not continue if you leave. Although, it didn't shut off Donkey Kong. If you go back there, he's still bashing the ground. I'll have to do more investigations. Uh, that was a quick addendum to my video. Uh, my name is Vinny Voodoo. Thanks for watching.